Get ready to dive into the world of Hollywood's biggest stoners. In this video, we'll take you on a wild ride through the lives and stories of your favorite celebrities who love the green stuff. From legendary actors to chart-topping musicians, we'll reveal all the juicy details about their love for the herb. Grab your popcorn and join us for a hilarious and eye-opening journey into the high life of Hollywood's biggest stoners. Ah, high school memories, and we've all got them. But Cameron Diaz dropped a bombshell about her high school days with none other than Snoop Dogg himself. Apparently, the rapper-turned-entrepreneur had a side hustle that involved selling a certain herb, and here's what she said. Since you're from the LBC, did you know Snoop Deal Double G? I did. He, well, we went to high school together. He was a year older than me, and, uh, you know, I remember him there. There's a lot of kids that are supposed to be like 3,500 kids, but I remember him. He was very tall and skinny, wore lots of ponytails in his head, and I'm... <laughs> Pretty sure I bought weed from him. Move over, Cheech and Chong, because there's a new ganja king in town, none other than the legendary Snoop Dogg. This hip-hop icon has become synonymous with cannabis culture, proudly advocating for its consumption and flaunting his love for the herb. But Snoop Dogg doesn't just stop at being a celebrity stoner. Oh no, he's taken it to a whole new level by becoming a major player in the cannabis industry. With his brand Leafs by Snoop, he's created the most recognizable cannabis brand in America. Talk about turning your passion into profit. It's safe to say that Snoop Dogg is riding high on his success. From music to movies to Mary Jane, he has truly carved out his own unique niche in pop culture. So next time you're enjoying a little relaxation, remember the 21st century king of ganja, Snoop Dogg. Ah, Tommy Chong the legendary stoner, and one half of the iconic duo Cheech and Chong. This man has made a career out of his love for the green stuff. And when I say green, I'm not talking about money, although I'm sure he's made plenty of that too. Tommy Chong is a true advocate for the green stuff, proudly proclaiming that he smokes it daily. In fact, during his movie days, he once said, we were always high. That was the job. This was Tommy's life. But let's not forget that Tommy Chong is more than just a guy who loves to get baked. He's an actor, comedian, and musician who has entertained audiences for decades. And even though his affinity for cannabis might be well known, it doesn't overshadow his talent and contributions to the entertainment industry. So here's to you, Tommy Chong. May your smoke be forever smooth and your laughter contagious. Ah, the infamous night of Matthew McConaughey's jam session, Gone Wild. Who knew that a love for the green could lead to such an eventful evening? Picture this, a Hollywood star in all his glory, playing the bongos in the nude, surrounded by the sweet aroma of Mary Jane. It's like a scene straight out of a movie, or perhaps one that should have stayed behind closed doors. But let's give credit where credit is due. McConaughey certainly knows how to make headlines. His arrest for disturbing the peace will forever be etched in tabloid infamy. I can only imagine the confusion on the faces of those police officers as they walked into his home and found themselves face to face with a naked bongo playing Hollywood star. In his defense, McConaughey claimed it was just a harmless jam session. You know, your typical Tuesday night activities, undressing, opening up windows, smoking a bowl and blasting music. I mean, who doesn't do that on a regular basis? While some may view this incident as an embarrassing blip on McConaughey's otherwise illustrious career, I prefer to see it as proof that even Hollywood stars can have their eccentric moments. So next time you find yourself caught up in your own jam session at home, just remember, you're not alone. Matthew McConaughey has been there too, albeit with slightly more police involvement. From fighting in the Hunger Games to enjoying a little herbal relaxation, Jennifer Lawrence has certainly come a long way. This hilariously blunt and funny actress isn't afraid to admit that she enjoys a bit of Mary Jane every now and then. In fact, she once claimed to have smoked weed before the Oscars. Talk about red carpet high fashion, but it doesn't stop there. There are even reports of Lawrence out smoking her former co-stars. Move over, Katniss Everdeen. It seems like Jennifer Lawrence knows how to blaze her own trail. And if you thought her weed adventures were limited uh, to award shows and movie sets, think again. There are further reports of Lawrence lighting up a joint or two at none other than Ellen DeGeneres' 60th birthday party. So whether she's slaying on screen 
or sparking up off screen, Jennifer Lawrence is definitely keeping us entertained with her unapologetic love for the green stuff. And hey, who can blame her? After all, laughter is the best medicine. Just don't ask her for an autograph. Seth Rogen, the king of stoner comedies, has never been shy about his love for the green stuff. Not only has he played lovable stoners on the big screen, but he's also been quite open about his real-life indulgence. In an interview with MTV News uh, back in 2011, Seth revealed that he often lights up while writing. According to him, weed doesn't necessarily make him a better writer, but it does make the whole process a lot more enjoyable. I don't know if it helps me write, he confessed, but it makes me not mind that I'm writing. In a 2019 interview with Stephen Colbert, Rogan took his love for the green stuff to new heights, pun intended. He admitted to being high all day, every day, including while filming. Talk about dedication to your craft. So next time you watch one of Seth Rogen's hilarious performances on the big screen, just remember that behind that laughter lies a cloud of smoke. It seems like Mary Jane is not only his co-star, but also his trusty sidekick on this crazy journey called life. Ah, the infamous love affair uh, between Woody Harrelson and Mary Jane. It's a tale as old as time, or at least as old as Hollywood, but did you know that Woody not only enjoys partaking in the green goodness, but he's also an advocate for legalizing consumption? Talk about putting your money where your munchies are. As a member of the advisory board of the National Organization for Reform, Woody is using his platform to push for change. The organization works to legalize responsible adult use and ensure the safety and quality of the product for users. And while he may have claimed to quit smoking weed in 2017, much to the dismay of stoners everywhere, it seems like he couldn't resist the allure of that sweet Mary Jane. In a 2019 interview with Esquire, Woody confessed to starting up again. Yep, I did quit, he said with a chuckle, for almost two years. No smoking, no vaping, and then I ran into Willie Nelson. Ah, Willie Nelson, the ultimate temptation for any self-proclaimed weed quitter. Who could resist lighting up when faced with the legendary stoner himself? It's like trying to resist eating cake when it's right in front of you. Practically impossible. But hey, at least we can say this about Woody. Whether it's acting or advocating for what he believes in, he always keeps us guessing and entertained along the way. When Dave Chappelle made his grand return to full-time touring in 2013, the comedy world collectively rejoiced. Not only is he a touring favorite, but he's also known for being a huge stoner. It seems like Chappelle has a knack for incorporating weed into his routine, lighting up the stage with his hilarious anecdotes and observations. And let's not forget about Half-Baked, the iconic stoner comedy that Chappelle co-wrote and starred in back in 1998. It's safe to say that this movie has become a cult classic among cannabis enthusiasts everywhere. With its memorable characters, and outrageous plot lines, it's no wonder that it holds a special place in the hearts and maybe even lungs of stoners around the world. So, whether you're a fan of Chappelle's stand-up or you just appreciate a good old stoner flick, there's no denying that Dave Chappelle has left his mark on both comedy and cannabis culture. Jennifer Aniston, the beloved actress who brought us endless laughs, as Rachel Green on Friends has always been known for her wit and charm. But did you know that she's also a big fan of Mary Jane? That's right, our girl Jen has admitted her love for the green leafy stuff. In an interview, Aniston boldly declared, I think I'm just starting to feel I can stop apologizing to the world, to myself, my family, my friends, to the world and live in my body and be okay with that. While some may raise an eyebrow at her candid admission, it only goes to show that even Hollywood stars like Jennifer Aniston are not afraid to be true to themselves. And hey, if Mary Jane helps her find peace and acceptance in her own skin, who are we to judge? So here's a toast to Jennifer Aniston, a talented actress who isn't afraid to break free from societal expectations and live life on her own terms. Cheers. In a candid interview with 60 Minutes back in 2011, the iconic Lady Gaga revealed her secret to creative genius. Lighting up. Yes, you heard it right. Lady Gaga admitted 
that she smokes a lot of weed when she writes music to help stimulate her creative process. And hey, who are we to judge? If it works for her, it works. But hold on a second. There's more to this story than just getting high and belting out chart-topping hits. Lady Gaga also mentioned that smoking the herb helps her manage the chronic pain she experiences from fibromyalgia. It's like killing two birds with one stone, finding inspiration while easing those pesky muscle pains. So next time you're struggling with a case of writer's block or some pesky pain, maybe take a leaf out of Lady Gaga's book and see if Mary Jane can lend you a helping hand. Just remember to keep it legal and responsible, folks. Ah, Miley Cyrus and her love for all things green. It seems like she's been blazing her own trail in more ways than one. Her affinity for cannabis is no secret, and she's not afraid to show it. In fact, she even threw a Green Day-themed birthday party for her ex-boyfriend, Liam Hemsworth. And let's not forget about her father, Billy Ray Cyrus. He may be known for his country music hits, but it seems like he's also a fan of the leafy greens. Looks like talent runs in the family. So, whether it's rocking out on stage or indulging in some herbal relaxation, Miley and her family certainly know how to keep things interesting. Who knows what they'll do next? Maybe they'll start their own line of celebrity-endorsed cannabis products. Cyrus Cush, anyone? <music> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the one and only Doug Benson, the Sultan of Green, the ultimate stoner comedian, and a true advocate for marijuana rights. This guy knows how to make people laugh while enjoying a little herbal relaxation. Not only is Doug Benson a master of comedy, but he's also quite the busy bee. He's hosted podcasts and TV series like Doug Loves Movies and The High Court with Doug Benson. Talk about keeping himself entertained. But that's not all. Did you know that this hilarious man has released not one, not two, but 10 comedy albums? That's right. He's got jokes for days. In 2007, he even took his love for all things green to the big screen in the film Super High Me. And if that wasn't enough to impress you, he lent his voice talents to the Lego Batman movie as none other than Bane. So whether you're looking for some laughs or an advocate for Mary Jane Wrights, Doug Benson is your guy. Just make sure you're prepared for some seriously funny moments and maybe grab a snack or two along the way. Comedy and munchies go hand in hand if you're hanging out with Doug. Move over, Snoop Dogg. You may be the king, but Willie Nelson is the godfather of weed. This legendary country singer and all-around cool dude announced way back in 2015 that he was launching his very own strain of premium weed. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't help but wonder what took him so long to join the Green Party. Maybe he was just waiting for the perfect moment to unleash his herbal masterpiece upon the world. Well, whatever the reason, it's safe to say that Willie Nelson is now firmly cemented as the OG, original ganja, in the world of cannabis culture. And here is a funny story involving Toby Keith, Mary Jane, and Willie Nelson. While Toby is famous for his love affair with beer, it turns out that he had an unforgettable encounter with the legendary Willie Nelson and some potent grass. Legend has it that Toby played a few songs alongside Nelson at one of his concerts. Little did he know that this encounter would take him on a journey he never expected. As the story goes, Nelson passed Toby some heavy-duty weed that left him in an otherworldly state. I couldn't even function, Toby confessed. It was like the most hardcore weed I ever smoked. The experience was so mind-blowing for Toby that he turned it into a song aptly titled Weed with Willie, where he sings, I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. One can only imagine the adventures they had and the stories they could tell. But it seems even the legendary grandfather of weed, Willie Nelson, has decided to quit. In a recent interview, the 90-year-old country music luminary revealed that he's had to make some changes for the sake of his health. I have abused my lungs quite a bit in the past, Nelson confessed. So breathing is a little more difficult these days. Oh, Willie Nelson, the man with a voice as smooth as butter and a heart as big as Texas. Let's take a moment to appreciate the legend that is Willie Nelson. I mean, can you even imagine a world without him? It's like trying to imagine a cowboy without his hat. It just doesn't make sense. Willie has been an icon in the music industry for decades. His signature braids and laid back style have become synonymous with country music itself. He's like that cool uncle 
who always shows up to family gatherings with his trusty guitar and gets everyone singing along. So here's to you, Willie Nelson. May you continue strumming those guitar strings and melting our hearts with your soulful melodies for many years to come. The world simply wouldn't be the same without you.